Uh, hello again. I um my video on um vertical and horizontal distance error um had the sine and cosine curve in it, but the, I drew them wrong. And a couple of people caught it. So I figured I'd just make it a whole new uh, video. Uh, so the point of this video is to is to show that um, a vertical distance, a vertical distance is less uh, accurate than a horizontal distance when you're uh, measuring with a total station. Right? And it and it's because of the sine and the cosine curve. Um, so that's the that's the the main point of of this video. That's, that's what I want um, you guys to get out of this video. So I'm gonna draw the cosine curve first, and hopefully I do it right this time. I'm gonna go all the way out to 360, so I don't make any any mistakes. So zero, ninety, zero, one eighty, two seventy, and three sixty. All right. So the cosine curve, cosine, the cosine of Cosine of zero is one, right? So at the at at um right at zero degrees, the output of the cosine is one, right? And the cosine fluctuates between one and negative one. It never goes greater than one or greater than um, negative one. So. <clears throat> draw this out so it starts at 1 here then it drops down to 90 right then it and at 180 it's negative 1 at 270 it's 0 again and then at 360 it goes back up to 1 All right, so the the if I draw out a diagram of the total station, right? I have zenith, and then I take a, a slope distance shot, right somewhere out here. All right, add a, add a prism. Give a prism. Oops. All right, there's our prism. Here's our pole. And this is going to be the ground surface. Okay, and this angle in here, right, our zenith angle, looks to be about, I'm going to call it 89. 89 degrees right exactly and the slope distance shot is 200 feet right if I if I solve for the vertical distance right what do you have to use you have to use the cosine function right and to get the horizontal distance right this distance along the green line would be the sine function, right? Opposite. So if I take the cosine of 89, 89 degrees, and then multiply that by 200, I get 89 cosine times 200. 
is 3.490. So it's a plus 3.490. Right, the prism, the the prism is 3.49 feet above the focal point of the total of the total station. Alright, and then if I change, if say if I change this angle towards 90, just 20 seconds, right? If I change it towards 90, just 20 seconds. So now I have the cosine. The cosine of 89, 0, 0, 0, oh, I'm sorry, 0, 0, 20. Right, if I add 20 seconds to it, multiply it by 200, I get... 89.0020 I get plus 3 point so plus plus 3.471 Right, so it changed two hundredths. Right, just changing the angle twenty seconds. Alright, so if I do the same thing for the horizontal distance, right, if I take the sine if I take the sine of eighty nine multiply it by 200 is equal to 199.9695 right and then if I change it um, 20 degrees towards uh, 20 seconds towards 90, it's the sine of 89, 0, 0, 20. Oops, this is 200. Um, and multiply it by 200. I get 89.0020. Sine of that times 200 I get 199.9687 right so it starts changing what in the thousandths place just a little bit right not much at all so essentially with 20 degree 20 seconds of change your horizontal distance doesn't change at all right in your vertical distance change two hundredths so that proves it right there that at a, at a slope distance of two hundred right um, and if you change your angle just twenty seconds your horizontal distance won't change but your vertical distance will Right, so let me draw out the sine curve now. Okay, zero. Oops. Ninety. 180, 270, and 360. Alright, and we know that it fluctuates between 1 and negative 1. Right, stays in between those. And at 0, right, the sign of 0 is 0. So we start at the origin. The sine of 90 is 1, so it goes up to 1. 
right then at 180 it's zero again 270 it's negative one and then at 360 it's zero right so you can I believe now that I have drawn the two curves correctly so this is going to be this is the sine curve right and what I just showed was if I take right 89 is going to be what right right there right so if I change just a little you know head this way just a little bit more towards 90 20 seconds more what is it going to do it's not going to change much at all right because this is essentially flat right here right but if I do the same thing up up here Right, where's 89? 89 is probably like right here. Right, 89 is right there. If I if I go 20 seconds more, it'd be right here. Right, this this change, right? This would be the change in here. Right, the change in the output of the of the cosine. Uh, function so um, <clears throat> right when this change is just a little bit we're multiplying that change by this 200 right this 200 so that's going to change our um, our vertical distance so that's that's the main point of this video right if you're using a total station for um, for measurements your depending on the distance right your your horizontal distance is usually a lot more precise than your vertical distance if it's a very short distance you know uh, it starts to matter a little bit less but um, you know usually shots are around 200 or 100 to you know a thousand feet so um, you know you're gonna you're gonna change pretty significantly right with a little bit of angular change so uh, I hope I didn't confuse anybody more by drawing um, the wrong uh, curve in here, but uh, sorry about that. Well, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.